Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Surplus Nut um, bringing a review on the new scale that I purchased, um, which is a uh, an add-on to my uh, reloading equipment. And really, I should have bought this scale a very long time ago. But um, when I started reloading, I went ahead and uh, decided to go with your standard. Uh, equipment that's being offered by different manufacturers like RCBS, uh, Hornady, Lock and Load, Lyman, uh, Reddings and stuff. So basically I went ahead for the uh, you know scales that they offered. I've never really liked to use the uh, beam scale. I don't feel they are uh, precise enough. I mean we're like in a digital age so why I really can't see anybody using a beam scale when they can uh, opt for a uh, digital scale which for sure it'll guarantee you at least that whatever you're weighing it's what you know you're, you're, you're setting up for um, anyways uh, whether you have a beam scale or a digital scale that's provided in the industry now for from um, all the different reloading manufacturer they all gonna weigh up to either plus or minus to one one hundredth of an inch uh, of a grain okay so I started off obviously you know been reloading for a while but I started off with um, the uh, Range Master 750 from RCBS never really had a problem with it it's a very dependable scale if you're willing to you know deal with the uh, plus or minus one tenth of a grain accuracy um, for uh, a while I was I started to have a problem with it um, not really you know holding its accuracy and, and um, not really giving me the uh, the measurement that I was looking for and um, I decided to try to you know call back uh, call the RCBS and then send it back to them but um, before I did that you know even though I realized that they charge you like a $35 fee and then the shipping and anyways I ended up paying for the scale when I first bought it it was I think like about a hundred and ten dollars or maybe ninety some dollars I can't remember now it was quite a while back I think I've had this RCBS uh, Range Master 750 for like uh, two years now um, so it wasn't really precise and um, I called RCBS and they told me to kind of like try to resell the uh, reset the uh, loading cell on there <clears throat> and when I grabbed the scale uh, at one point I noticed there was something you know like uh, making a dangling noise inside real light so I figured that somehow a uh, little kernel of um, powder might have gotten in there and because you will shake it around and I will hear it and um, I mean I only reload Barget uh, Hudgen Barget I think it's the best powder out there it covers a lot of different calibers it is very tolerant to different temperature changes and it's a to me it's the most uh, excellent powder out there especially for 308 which is what I reload for um, all my um, bolt action rifles uh, that I have are 308 it's a uh, I believe it's like the best caliber out there um, if you use it for hunting, you can hunt anything in North America, any any North American hunting, uh, uh, North American game. And pretty much, uh, if you get the right uh, grain bullet, you can probably do a uh, African, you know, game too. So, uh, 308 has been around for a while and it's been um, used for precision shooting and all that. So, I really love that caliber. So, all my uh, bolt action guns are 308 except my um, 300 Ultra Magnum Sendero Remington um, but anyways going back to the uh, topic um, I started shaking the scale around and I noticed that 
um, there was a little grain in there so I managed to take the little loading uh, you know the, the little plate on top and um, I shook it around and I was able to get it out of there so that really confirmed that, that was the problem so that might have been messing around and affecting the loading cell inside and um, so basically um, I, uh, I did that started you know calibrating the scale again the uh, RCBS 750 that you guys see here and um, it basically kind of like went back to its own self I mean it, it, it before it would drift a lot um, I will have to re-zero it quite often and uh, at times um, I will come after like five ten minutes and it will be like you know wandering like one tenth of a grain off uh, on the zero setting uh, we'll have you know be back to calibrating it and all that so basically after I took the little kernel off of there from inside the actual so you gotta be very careful man with this uh, scales make sure you don't get none of these uh, like a little kernel of um, uh, the, you know bargain powder is uh, it uh, what they call the extruded powder which is like what everybody calls it like stick powder and you don't want to get that thing in there and um, get into your loading cell and stuff it will really mess up your scale so you gotta be very careful as you're trickling the powder in there or whatever um, so basically I got that out of there and after a while you know um, it, it settled back up but it's still um, like if I, I usually load for 308 I normally load like 168 grain Sierra match kings hollow points um, and your your recommendation from Sierra themselves is when you're loading a 168 grain uh, match king hollow point bullet from from them their recommendation is that the best to get the best accuracy is to go ahead and load up with like 42 grain powder uh, your powder chart's got to be 42 grain so I've had very good luck with that that's what I use and um, so basically like if I was loading for like 42 grains then um, you know I, I noticed that it, it'll drift a little and um, basically every scale that you buy okay that it's um, from RCBS again any reloading manufacturer RCBS Hornady Lyman's um, they all gonna have it, it, it'll tell you for sure it'll be even if you go like a uh, uh, a uh, manual I will say digital scale which is like the one that you have to probably get your powder measure thrower and <clears throat> get pretty close to your charge and then put it in there and trickle it in with your um, trickler um, uh, that's what I would call like a manual scale because um, now they have the newer which I want to talk to you guys about that I had to send both I order the uh, um, smart reloader ISD that yellow one man I had to send that thing back um, I re uh, order the RCBS one those things are junk take it from me and I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of comments oh I've had, never had no problems with it whatever well I hope you can stick with this review that I'm starting here it might have a bunch of parts and if you can't really stick to it and watch all the parts like many stupid people you know leave me comments well you know you took freaking 12 minutes to talk about it well you know go, go watch something else man but if you want to learn about precision reloading, <clears throat> stick with this. I mean, this is something that I should have done a long time ago. But again, till I noticed that my skill was going, uh, you know, giving me problems, and I ended up having to research uh, <clears throat> uh, what's out there, um, I really didn't uh, find out. And let me tell you, this is new. I'm probably going to be blowing this. Uh, for the first time on YouTube because I've been researching on YouTube for the reviews on this and the only view, review that I got on this scale is from this one guy can remember his channel now but um, he, he's got a, 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 a video or a couple of videos uh, road to uh, precision and basically he's got a pretty good uh, kind of like a review on this scale 
but um, I started researching on, 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 on this scale once I started having problems with my uh, Range Master 750 and I wish I would have found out about this a long time ago so I hope you guys can stick you know with me on, on all these different parts uh, I don't know how many I'm gonna make of them this will be the first one but if you really want to get into reloading or if you're already into reloading and you want to really have precision shots I mean like really a one ragged hole a one ragged hole a five shot group like into the size of a dime um, I think this will make it normally that's what I've been getting but I've, I noticed that when my groove has opened up my groups have opened up a little bit it's probably been because of this on, on you know on what I'm gonna explain on on this video and or possibly the second or third part to this but um, I hope you guys can stick with this because this is something that it, it's not on YouTube yet nobody it's re really know about these scales um, for reloading everybody's going with your basic freaking uh, you know uh, RCBS Hornady your typical freaking manufacture reloading equipment but when you want to do precision shooting you got to go a step above and beyond okay so all these scales that you have out there um, they all measure uh, the accuracy it's minus or plus which I hate that especially when they tell you that in the box or in the commercial or whatever or minus or plus uh, accuracy to one one hundredth of an of a uh, of a grain you know what L -l let's just be for real here so um, we're gonna continue with this and when I get back and I hope you guys can stick around because we have a lot a lot to learn here okay and I'm gonna put the scale to the test and we're gonna go ahead and um, I mean you're probably gonna end up buying another scale alright Mr. Surplus not out